Hello everyone and welcome to a little channel update from Apple Programming. Uh, this video is probably going to be one of the most useful channel updates that I do and it's probably the most requested feature that I'm going to be showing you today how you can use that most requested feature uh, for these tutorials and that is the ability to look at the code that I write and uh, basically download it and look at it at your home instead of looking at it in the videos. So uh, basically I'm giving you now the option to download the source code that I write here and you can just you know download in your home, you can open up my projects in Xcode and you can compare you know what you do uh, when you're doing the tutorials to what I wrote for the actual tutorial itself. So um, now I'm going to be giving you basically that option uh, and I'll show you how in this tutorial, how you can access all that cool stuff. So um, one thing though, I just have to thank somebody on Google Plus, a uh, little shout out to you know who you are, for um, pushing the matter of getting source code. Uh, he had already gone through trying to get uh, his own GitHub repository for my source code, which basically means he went through all the tutorials, or at least as many as he did, and he uploaded whatever he had done onto GitHub. And I think, you know, at that point, it just made me realize that it's getting pretty bad that other people are uploading the source code that are in my tutorials before I upload my own source code. So um, anyway, that thanks to you for uh, forcing the issue. And now because of you, more people have source code at home. So anyway, um, how this all works is basically, if you don't know, github.com is a great place that you can upload your content uh, and basically you can get tons of open source uh, different things for iOS and Mac OS if you want to look up different projects people have uploaded there there's tons of projects that go on github and you can check out the source code that they write and uh, you can of course publish your own for free as long as it's publicly uh, open to anyone so uh, with that I'm going to show you right now how you can get access to the source code so all you have to do is go to github.com and uh, basically the actual link for all this is github.com slash lucasd2 and I, I think, I can't remember if you actually have to get an account or not, but anyway, you can sign up for github and uh, you can then, you know, do whatever you want, but the key part here is that you can download the source code that I have to your own computer. So I'm not really sure if you need an account for this, but either way, you, you know, it's not that hard to get an account, pretty easy to set up. So anyway, with that, uh, again, github.com slash lucasd2. And basically, uh, right here under repositories, you'll see that right now I only have the C tutorials up, uh, but I got this, got this up in about a day. So um, I went through all the C tutorials and put in some comments for Xcode 4 and um, also uh, validated them all so that they work with Xcode 4.3 so you don't have to go through and fix the errors yourself. But anyway, uh, these C tutorials should be all pretty much up to date and I think you know they, they should be pretty solid. But again, uh, the nice thing about this is you can just send me an email if you know something's not uh, you know if it's not working correctly, I have my email on github.com as well, so if you want to send me something, feel free to notify me if there's anything wrong with these tutorials, because sometimes I fiddle around with uh, the tutorial files after I do the tutorial, so, um, you know, they there's there's an off chance that uh, there might be something different from the actual tutorial itself than uh, what I have in the source code, so if anything looks off or doesn't work properly, uh, please let me know. But anyway, uh, back to this here, we have our repositories, and under here you'll see I'll have Apple Prog, Objective-C tutorials, and Cocoa ones pretty soon. But right now I have the C ones, and if you want to look at them, you just click on this repository, and you'll be brought to the page with basically all of the you know files that I have for this code. And if you know you want to look at a specific tutorial you know right away you can actually just go right into it and you can see the source code right online so you know if you really just want to get a quick glance at it and instead of downloading it you can uh, do it that way but um, the best way I think to just get everything in one shot is just to download as a zip file and you can do that just by hitting zip right there and uh, when you hit that it'll just download and it downloads pretty quick for the C ones anyway, because there's no images or anything. 
And once you have that, you can just go into your downloads and it'll be right here for you. So you can just click on that. And you, as you can see, you get all the lessons that go along with uh, what I have. So anyway, that's, uh, you know, pretty much what I have. And you can, you know, open all these and they're all just Xcode files that you can open. So anyway, that's how you can use GitHub to basically look at any of the tutorials that I have or their source code. And um, again, make sure that, uh, you know, if you come off, come across any errors that I have for the source code, make sure you let me know so that uh, they don't go unno or unnoticed for, you know, a long time and people are trying to figure out what's going on. But uh, yeah, just let me know if there's anything wrong with them. And I'll make sure to get the Objective-C and the Cocoa ones up uh, fairly soon. And, uh, you know, it took a while to get these ones just all updated and uh, a few different things for Xcode 4 that changed uh, for how projects work and stuff. And I threw some notes in the C tutorials as well for that. But anyway, um, that's pretty much all I had to show you. So again, github.com slash lucasd2. And uh, you'll have all the source code available for pretty much all the tutorials that are on the channel. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments below. You can even send me an email now. I have a dedicated me.com alias address basically set up. So, you know, feel free to uh, send me the odd email. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you. Hopefully, I will be bringing the Cocoa tutorials back uh, real soon after this video. I'll, uh, I, I'm working on a few of the requested videos specifically. Uh, out, outline views are in uh, the this the scope of what I'm trying to do here, and um, that's been a highly requested one is to do an NS outline view, and also just a video for um, some other cool graphic stuff that. Uh, aren't really obvious in Coco. I'm working on uh, to get a tutorial out for that as well. So anyway, stay tuned for more stuff, and um, anyway, just go download your source code. See you soon.